so I am very much sleep deprived. It was only four and a half hours of nap, but I am super excited to record for Dance Fresh, so it'll be worth it. Also, my body feels not that bad. So the stretches really do help. So I am going to stretch before the heading. <laughs> cabinets has the premium mode so i was kind of hogging that cab the entire morning there was one other person at dance rush and it just felt so nice to just keep going with no line i didn't want to use premium mode when people were around because the people in line would have to wait for the upload to finish and i didn't want to be pressured by that the dance movie has made please show your favorite effect It takes about 2 minutes and 30 seconds to process, so that's why you are limited to one song for premium instead of two songs for basic mode. You could say that the uploading process counts as one song. I got to play a song that you can only play in premium and it was hard but so much fun. I wish I had it unlocked so I could get better at it. Since this is the first time using premium, it was hard not to press basic since that's what I'm used to. I played basic about 3 times since I'm more used to the normal than the premium mode so I had to go through the stage failures. I just kept going until I thought I had enough good takes on the couple songs I know. It took about 5 songs before I was truly warmed up. After warming up, I was on a roll and I had dance after dance that I felt good about. I finally figured out how to do this after so long. It's all thanks to Dance Evo. It's not a full SpongeBob, but in my opinion, it still looks really cool and clean. I still need some work on Charleston and actually using it. I tried using the new SpongeBob that day, but it was a total failure. It'll take some time to incorporate it in my dances. It's cold. Oh. It's prime time and it's still breathable on the gazebo floor. Katsu would be a whole different story next month at the same time on Saturday. After food, I chilled around the gazebo looking for my friends and hanging out with them for a bit before heading down to play some <laughs> I was two sets in and my legs were already feeling like jello.
It takes Nando 70 minutes to prepare for takeout, so I played a bit of Dance Evo before retrieving my order. I left my other iPhone upstairs since I told myself I wouldn't play pump since I could play pump at home. But there's this cab that's not next to the other pump cabs, and it's right at the very front of one of the entrances, so it's able to draw attention better. So the location changed my mind. Definitely gonna play some more the next day since I had so much fun. Pump really tires me out, so I think I'm gonna call it a night. I wanted to call my sick boyfriend since I was so busy and wanted to catch up with him. Look at my hair, it's so bad. <laughs> you look really pretty though. Oh no, stop it. <laughs> you know, me I need to wake up early for tomorrow. I'm just gonna quickly look through my footage that I had today and then I'm gonna sleep. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Today's the last day. Oh my god, already. So, today the arcade's gonna close around 2 o'clock. It's gonna be a short amount of time, so that's why we're up early. Also, I kind of woke up with like a small little blister on my left toes. So, I hope that doesn't affect my gameplay today. But yes, I'm excited to head down there. There's a lot more people awake compared to Saturday morning. I wonder if they slept at all. The premium cab had an error and that was causing a lot of ghosts. That's why you see a streak down the side of the dance pad floor. Now you know how to fly. Let me go, let me go to the sky. We got a new place to begin. There's no time for breakfast or brunch because I wanted to keep playing before the arcade closed. So
I was so tired playing pump. I played better the other night. The arcade was closed, but the marketplace was still open. It's always sad when the arcade closes, but it's time for them to load out and it's time for me to just rest up. I think this is the fourth time having Nando's this weekend. I just love their side of mashed potato. It slaps so hard and it's so good. After the con ended, I took a mini nap, started packing, and walked around the empty venue. I flew back Monday morning going through the fastest general screening TSA of my life. It only took 7 minutes. My wrap up thoughts on MacFest 2024. I definitely felt better about my body compared to my previous MacFest I went to because on the last day, I could barely dance or walk. This time, I didn't properly stretch on day one, so I had to pay the price on day two. But towards the end of the con, I felt much better and good about my soreness and tiredness. It was all thanks to stretching and not being lazy about it. That helped so much in the long run. Thank you to those who had the courage to come up to me to say hi and give your compliments on my videos. All your appreciation means a lot. Special thanks to David, Parker, and JC for letting me stay with you guys at the host hotel. If I didn't stay and commuted instead, my experience would be a whole lot different. I met most of my DMV friends that I wanted to meet and surprised them because I wasn't cosplaying. But I wanted a con where I could solely feed on my gaming addiction since at most anime cons, I don't have much time to game. Also, meeting new Dance Rush players was really fun. It's awesome to see everyone have a good time and see everyone's unique dancing styles. 
It's hard to tell time in the arcade when it's dark and there's no clock. I played about 95 games on Thursday and Friday and 81 on Saturday and Sunday. So in total, I played about 176 individual songs over the entire weekend. It's a gaming con for a reason, right? Anyways, I'm starting this year strong with MacFist in my con lineups. Because of my potential acceptance in the dental hygiene program, I won't be able to come back to MacFest for a bit. That's why I made sure to have as much fun as possible this time, and I did. But I promise I'll be back after I'm done. My next con is Comic-Con in Birmingham, Alabama, which is next week. So I'll see you soon. But until then, take care and stay safe. Bye!